Nearly two feet of snow has fallen in Denver since the beginning of fall. That's the snowiest start to a season in three years. The biggest snow story in the country this season might be the Buffalo, New York area, where Lake Erie has been a lake effect snow machine. There have been more than 100 inches of snow at the Buffalo Niagara Airport so far. That's the most in history and their records go back 80 years. But perhaps the most important snow story of the season has been unfolding in the West Western mountains. After two consecutive winters with extremely dry conditions, the Colorado River Basin has come to life with snow. Look at the snowpack at the headwaters in the state of Colorado. That basin is 15% above average so far this season. The snowpack in southwest Colorado also feeds into the Colorado River, and that region is in good shape, especially after a big boost with this most recent storm system in the San Juans. But if you zoom the map out, you can see that the snowpack is even higher to our west. Utah, southwestern Wyoming, and Idaho have well above average snowpack so far. Good news for the Colorado River system and Lake Powell, which hit its lowest levels in history over the summer. But hydrologists warn that it'll take several consecutive big snow years to even make a dent in that water deficit. Even the big winter of 2019 couldn't make up for the amount of water that was released from Lake Powell that year. And further to the west, the biggest snow of the season has been in the Sierra Nevadas. Snowpack in some spots there is about double for this time of year, relieving for some parts of Nevada and California that have been struggling with exceptional and extreme long-term drought conditions. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News. And the weathered pattern in the west is expected to stay active for at least another week. We'll hear more on that coming up in Greg's weather forecast in less than 10 minutes.